All right, guys, this is uh, Kyle here from Feed Me Techno. You should check it out on our uh, Facebook page, facebook.com slash Feed Me Techno, or you can check it out on YouTube, just search Feed Me Techno. Uh, so this is a tutorial I'm making to show you guys, all you new beginners for FL, how to install your new synths or VSTs after you either bought them or downloaded them, which, you know, I won't tell anyone, but, you know, let's just say you got new synth and uh, you're kind of new with that phone and you just don't know how to install it. I know this happened to me when I first got it. So, I'm going to show you. So, uh, when you first get your synth, you want to install it. You're going to run the setup and you have to install it to a certain place. At least for Windows 7, it's in your program files, which would be the same with XP or Vista. But in Windows 7, it's program files 86, which I don't know. But yeah, just go find image line and then FL Studio right there and then you want to go to your plugins and VST this is the file that you want to save it to I mean this is the folder you want to uh, extract your setup to so no other file not VST plugins make sure you just click this one and that'll make sure it gets installed to the right place so then after you install it everything works out well you go to FL and you go to insert and you'll notice it's not here let's say you got Nexus right here and all of a sudden like Nexus wasn't showing up okay like I was just shit out of luck when this happened to me. So you gotta go up here to more, and then you go down here to refresh, and you do a fast scan, it's recommended. Now if you have a new plugin or VST, right down here it's gonna say one new plugin found, or three new plugins found. And then uh, you would go over here, so let's say Amber. This, they found Amber, you know? So I would do that, just click it right there, that's an FX plugin, but here it is. So I have it selected, now I'm gonna go back here, and you notice, well, it's not here right now. Well, there it is. So Amber's right there. It wasn't there before. So once you install new synth, you got to go to more, refresh it, search for it, and then you'll be able to open it. And then uh, here's Amber. Damn, that's a nice synth. But yeah, so there you guys go. That's how to uh, install your new synths and plugins. Hope it helped, because I know it took me forever to figure it out the first time I did it. So uh, there you guys go. All right, and once again, uh, subscribe if you like the video or check out. If you've been technical on Facebook and like it, please. Alright, Kyle out.